An incredible 90% of avalanches are triggered by the victims themselves. And snowmobiling causes more avalanches than all other winter sports. Here he comes, he's gonna jump off this cliff. Tyson Black from Utah loved to snowmobile. I pretty much expect to not ever see him on the weekend when there's snow on the ground. March 2012, Tyson convinced his partner Brandy to go on her first ever snowmobile trek. We were just going over small hills and just off the trail, but not anything too scary. An hour into the run, they met friends and headed up to their favorite hillside, Hoyt's Peak. They started taking turns going up the hill. I was like just kind of up on the hill a little bit further away. I didn't have any control in telling him, don't do this. Tyson pushed himself further and further up the slope. Snowmobiling is one of America's most popular and most dangerous winter sports. In March 2012, what started as a fun day quickly turned to disaster when Tyson Black was caught in a slab avalanche. I couldn't believe what was happening. It was like in slow motion for me, and it just, it wasn't real for a minute. Once the avalanche stopped is when I started to panic because I didn't see him anywhere. He'd been buried for five minutes and without a tracking beacon, locating him under the snow is extremely difficult. I didn't know what we were going to do. Are we even going to be able to find him? Is he going to be breathing when we find him? Bronson, we're at your bag. We just got our probes. And we decided to look around the snowmobile because they're most likely to try to stick with this. I didn't know how long he would have under there and all the guys around us were shouting out, um, it's been nine minutes, it's been 10 minutes. He has until 12 or 15 minutes. If you're found within quarter of an hour, there's a 90% survival rate. After that, your chances plummet. It had hit about 15 minutes. I just thought, oh we're never gonna find him. Like, how are we supposed to find him in this big amount of snow? There were so many things going through my head. What am I gonna do with my son without a dad? 25 minutes after the avalanche engulfed Tyson, there was a breakthrough. <laughs> Once they hit his helmet with a shovel, Mike screamed, I found him, I found him. Hey, I need a time. What time is your phone say, ma'am? They had taken the snow away from his face, and his face was purple. I need a shovel. Do we have another shovel? Is that a shovel behind you? No, it's just a handle. He was breathing. When I first came to, I could just see a hand scraping at my face, and people. Yeah, I could start hearing people yelling, we found him. It was the best feeling in the world to just see him and see that he was okay and, and know that I still had him around. He was buried so deep, it took a further 20 minutes to dig Tyson out. Oh, yeah. 
I feel lucky to be alive and makes me it kind of just burning inside with all the people, what everybody that was there had to go through trying to find me. Tyson was lucky. His friends were able to search for him from the minute he was buried. 